in the practice of chicken production, the cost of feed accounts for two-thirds of the total capital cost. So reducing feed waste is to reduce breeding costs and increase revenue. In the poultry industry, feed waste is particularly serious. Here are some reasons and solutions for the waste of feed on your farm. Direct waste caused by unscientific feed management in chicken farms. Indirect waste due to low feed efficiency accounts for almost 11 to 22 percent of the total feed. In this particular video, we are going to get different ways to save your feed. I will teach you how to select good breeds of chicken that will not waste your feed. Broken the peak in time. How to select the appropriate feed shapes. That is the feed texture. Remember that feed is divided into three phases powder, granular, and the pellet. The structure and the height of the trough should be reasonable. The influence of drinking water also plays a role in feed waste. Compared with the water tank, the use of a nipple drinker can save 2 to 3 grams of feed per chicken per day. Adjust feeding methods and change feeding methods at the appropriate time. Master the amount of diet. Different breeds and uses of chicken flocks use different breeding methods. That is free feeding or restricted feeding. Rodent control against wild birds. Wild birds and rodents not only consume feed and cause waste, but also release heat and excreta, physics or excreta or whatever you call them, which result in local warming of the feed and at the same time increased humidity. Eliminate sick chickens or low yield chickens. If there are roasters in the laying hen, they will consume more feed and increase production costs. They must be eliminated on time to save your feed costs. Sick chickens that cannot stand during the growth period have lame legs, crooked mouth and blink eyes. You need to eliminate them on time to make sure they save the cost. Improve measures to feed full price feed. There should be reasonable control of the temperature in the brooding house on the brooding house or the rearing house. You need to apply all these measures to make sure that you save your feed. Now let's go into the real detail of this particular topic. Please don't skip any track. Make sure you watch it the end so that you get the full value of this particular video. Let's go there after this break. I please if you have been wasting feed, this is not the right time again. Oh, no. this is not the right time to waste feed. I never knew that feed cost has gone too high like this until a friend called me from Katuna State that they are buying feed at the rate of 25 28,000 naira. I say, What this is not the era of allowing your chicken to waste the feed for you because they don't know what you are suffering to get the money to feed them. Protect your feed and make sure that they convert the feed for you. Feed waste is a common issue in both poultry and livestock farming that can quickly drive up costs and at the same time pursue you from the business. 
<laughs> reducing feed waste not only cuts expenses but also ensures that the animals are getting the right nutrients efficiently. In today's video, please, we will cover 10 effective strategies to minimize feed waste on your farm, helping you lower cost and improve the overall productivity of your poultry and at the same time maximizing your profit. That is the main topic. That's why I would advise you, if this is the first time of seeing any of my videos, please do the right thing right now. Subscribe. See the subscribe button there. Click subscribe and activate the bell notification button so that any time I release an update on this particular topic, you'll be among the first set of subscribers that get notified by this wonderful app. This channel will teach you all the tips and insights on how to run your poultry and livestock business profitably. We cover everything concerning feathered and four-legged animals. When you talk about feathers, we're talking about broilers, noilers, croilers, cockers, layers of all breeds, broilers of all breeds, different ornamental birds, brahmas, Turkeys, both local and foreign. Talk about goat, sheep, cattle, cow, pigs, fish farming, and many others like rabbit farming. We discuss them here and agri economies, that is agri business. Please, this is a very big family for you to join. Right now, let's go into action i tag this particular content how to reduce feed waste in your poultry and livestock farming let me give you only 10 points 10 key points number nine will surprise you use proper designed feeder most of the feed waste I experience when I go on farm visit is using improper feeder for the age of those birds. As the chickens are growing, use the feeder that suits their age. Choose feeder that are specially designed to minimize foliage and waste for poultry. Opt for feeders with leaves or anti-waste rims to prevent birds from scattering feed. For livestock, ensure that feeders are at the right height to reduce spillage. Secondly, adjust feeder height. For chicken, raise this feeder. If you don't have any, go and use stone. Raise this feeder to their shoulder level so that they will not be bent. If they bend down to it, once they bend down, as they raise their up to swallow the feed, most of them will fall, the particles will fall on the floor. Most especially when you are on pellets. Or even, even, even mash also. So, make sure they is at their shoulder level. That will give them efficient and effective means of consuming without wasting the feed. Keep feeders at their proper height for the size and age of your animal for poultry, adjust the feeder so that the bears can reach the feed without stepping into it or fighting or even flinting them around. For livestock, make sure the feed troughs are positioned at a comfortable height to reduce spillage and trampling. Third, limit feed access time. Instead of leaving feed available for 27 please limit their time even for poultry most of the times raise the feeder up so that they will not see it they will not get to it limit feeding time also control feeding will help you to encourage animals to eat more efficiently during specific period reducing the amount of feed they can get and they can waste Number four, 
implement a regular feeding schedule. Feeding your poultry or livestock animals at a consistent time every day helps prevent overfeeding and wastage. When animals know when to expect their next meal, they are less likely to overindulge in scattering and wasting of feed or excess feeding. Most times, most of us don't even know that these animals think like humans. They think fast. Once that their eating period reaches, they will be waiting for you. And if you don't give them that food at that time, if you come later, they will fight your leg. They will bite you. They will they want to wound you at all costs because they are already aggrieved. Next one is monitor feed quality. Ensure that the feed you are providing is of high quality and free from mold or contamination. Spoiled feed often gets rejected by animals, leading to unnecessary waste. Proper storage can help maintain feed quality for longer periods. Another one is provide balanced ration all the time. Offer feed rations that meet your animal's specific nutritional need without excess. Oversupplying certain nutrients may lead to wastage of feed, while undersupplying leads to insufficient feeding and lower productivity. Next one is avoid overfeeding. Please, overfeeding is not good. They will not convert the feed for you. Some of farmers think that when they drop the whole bag of feed for them, the chicken will grow overnight. If you like, offload one food trailer load of feed for your chicken. They will not grow that same day. They have a process they will follow. So overfeeding not only leads to waste, but can also cause health problems in both poultry and livestock. Calculate the appropriate feed quantity for each animal based on their age, weight and production stage. Next one is use feed addictives wisely. Feed addictives adds value to the feed. They make the feed more palatable. So including feed addictives such as enzymes or probiotics that improve digestion and nutrient absorption. These can help animals make better use of the feed, leading to less waste and better growth. Prevent feed contamination. Keep feed troughs and storage areas clean to prevent contamination from pests, moisture, or feces. Contaminated feed is often refused by animals. They reject it totally. Most especially when you're talking about four-legged animals. And this can result in waste. Regular cleaning and maintenance of your poultry pen can help maintain feed hygiene. Next one is please train your farm workers. Engage them either online or fiscal training always to get them the best trend in the industry. Proper training of farm workers on feeding practices can drastically reduce feed waste and this will Ensure that they understand how to measure feed rations accurately. Adjust feeders correctly and manage the feeding process to minimize spillage and waste. Please, feed is very costly this time. And remember, I always tell you that the total investment in your poultry and livestock production depends on feed, which takes more than 70% of your total input. If this particular video is very interesting for you, you will find it insightful or meaningful to your project. Please, this is the right time for you to subscribe if you are new to this particular channel for more farming advice and cost saving strategies. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our latest video. Give this video a thumb up right now, please. Share it with your fellow farmers. And 
leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts, what you think about this particular content and what you think about your farm. Whether your chickens are mis or misusing the feed or they are wasting the feed. Tell me, I will guide you on what to do next. Let your comment be on the below and let's interact there. So reducing feed waste is a crucial step in making your poultry and livestock farming more efficient and profitable. By implementing strategies such as using well-designed feeders, control feeding time, and ensuring feed quality can significantly cut down on waste and improve your bottom line profit. Thank you for watching and we look forward to sharing more valuable tips in our next video. Please don't miss it. For now, I remain your humble servant. Bye.